It's one more job. It's big enough. We've got a problem. Why would I hire somebody to kill a complete stranger? You shot me, I shot you right back again. It's just it's a real fun story, you know. Just when you think you might know who's doing what with whom, it's suddenly there's a whole new element comes into it. It's fantastically intricate. When you think you know what's going on, you realise two seconds later that you really have no idea because everybody is, is conning everybody all the time. It's about two people who set out to, to steal 20 million from a nefarious old gangster. So what are we going to do? Make it up as we go along. That's my plan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lily uh, and Leo are married, and they have this big scam of how they're going to make a lot of money so they can retire. The problem is that Leo has a, a gambling habit and um, that he keeps being in debt. Uh, so every single time they earn money, he kind of you know, gambles it away again. I think this is a longer Friday cross with Brighton Rock. That's my thing. Or. Oh. Another way of saying it is uh, Gone with the Wind Cross with Zulu. But I think that one doesn't really give the signals that we're trying to go for. Action! Where's my money? Which is not what I expected, Leo. Troy, man, there's a big meet Saturday. Yeah. I'm going to win big time. I'll pay you back in full. Well, listen, I've got a tip for the 330 Bernard's jibber straight from the proverbial. It's not good enough, Leo. I told you a grand by Friday. It's great being by the sea and you know being out of London and doing such a good film with such a great group of people. You know, it's probably one of the most diverse and, and talented casts. Peter Stamari, you know, and Famke, Eddie Azar, Brian Connolly's been a revelation. I think it's it's kind of quite inspiring casting. You want vivid people to come on and be vivid instantly. You know, you know there's something strange or odd or bizarre about them. It's just a rich kind of mosaic of a story full of rich characters, a really satisfying, intricate plot. That's more so to be sort of Right, yeah, sure. You've got well trained, Bruno. What is it with you two? He doesn't like you, you know. He says I shouldn't trust you. You shouldn't? <laughs> I'm just dead chuffed to be uh, here because I think that the show falls between the ethereal quality demanded by the intellectuals and the cultural necessity of the urban lifestyle from Richard Guru because it is a film of participant elimination involving the assessment and placement of unconstrained information into various diverse categories culminating in a film worthy of its superiority. <laughs> yeah, lovely. He's written an extremely delightful, funny, gangster thriller romp. It's a sin. It's a glam. A grand. Yeah. Right then, who do you want me to kill? I was amazed to hear that Mr. Logan had spent the last several years incarcerated in a video store somewhere in Brighton. He's the Quentin Tarantino of the British Isles. I had an idea to do the day in the life of a con man, and um, it was originally called Manhattan Merry Go Round, set in New York. And it occurred to me that I didn't actually know New York very well. Um, so I kept the, uh, the story and just transplanted it to Bright. I just love the idea by using Brighton as a beautiful, beautiful setting. And this strange kind of story is just set there. It could have been set maybe anywhere in the world. Happy? Ecstatic. What about the tapes? You're gonna get the tapes, Leo, when I'm out of here and I feel safe. So you hold on to this phone and I'll call you. Thank you! No! It does seem to be an interesting amalgamation of all the gangster films I've seen. And an immense amount of lying going on there. Just lying up to here with lies you are by the end. You're, you're full of lies. You walk out, audiences walk out, and they'll just lie their heads off for the rest of the evening. You can't trust no one. All this game playing. Some guy offers to pay you money to whack the only person you want to whack who's going to say no. Hopefully, it'll just make a rollicking 
couple of hours in the cinema. I mean, it is a, it is a fabulous piece of entertainment. I decide what needs doing when it's done. And it grips you right from the off, and it takes you a left, right, left, right. You don't know who's double crossing who. It's high comedy and some very black comedy as well. I'm not gonna kill you, Arnie. Thank you, Bruno. Casper's gonna kill you. Hopefully it'll keep people on the edge of their seats and and they'll be intri as intrigued as I was the first time around when I read the script. Even you can't think of everything, Leah. That's true. That's why you got me. It's great, it does keep you there. It's, it's witty, it's exciting, it's, it's just a really brilliant script. The last request. I win, you lose. I'm begging you, don't kill me. I'm not gonna kill you, Arnie. Oh, thank you. Casper's gonna kill you. It's <laughs> one more job. You said that before. I need to know you're serious about leaving. I am serious. This is a bank robbery! Get out! You thought I was Cary Grant? Can we talk about this over a drink? Do you like whiskey or more? What is it with you two? No, I shouldn't trust it. You shouldn't? Half a million dollars? We don't have that sort of money. Talking pounds. We definitely don't have that sort of money. I want to know what Leo's up to. Not up to anything. Did you see Bath on? Bye, buddy, girl. <laughs> right, can I get paid now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut your dick off, I'm afraid, there. <laughs> Dangerous business we're in. You shot me, I shot you right back again. You might dismiss. Now you've got to clean it up. Lovely. Ah, we're still friends. <laughs> right, Leo. Yeah, I see you, Roscoe. You don't trust no one. <laughs> Excitement has gone to me head, blood. You can't shoot me. Why not? Because if you shoot me, you've got to shoot Lily too. Oh, well, he's right. Ooh, I'm gonna get you, boy. Another one bites the dust. Ah. I'm begging you, don't kill me. I'm not gonna kill you, Arnie. Oh, thank you. Casper's gonna kill you. It's <laughs> <laughs> one more job. You said that before. I need to know you're serious about leaving. I am serious. This is a bank robbery! Get out! You thought I was Cary Grant? Can we talk about this over a drink? Do you like whiskey or more? What is it with you two? No, I shouldn't trust it. You shouldn't? Half a million dollars? We don't have that sort of money. I'm talking pounds. We definitely don't have that sort of money. I want to know what Leo's up to. Not up to anything. You see both of them. Bye, buddy, girl. <laughs> Right, can I get paid now? <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut your dick off, I'm afraid, there. It's dangerous business we're in. You shot me, I shot you right back again. You might dismiss. Now you gotta clean it up. Lovely. Ah, we're still friends. <laughs> right, Leo. Yeah, see you, Roscoe. You don't trust no one. Excitement has gone to me head, blood. You can't shoot me. Why not? Because if you shoot me, you gotta shoot Lily too. Oh, well, he's right. Ooh, I'm gonna get you, boy. Another one bites the dust. Ah. Oh.